The host has started recording. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Roblin Live. I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's Roblin Live and Ali. The Wonder Dog. Presented by the Roblin Live Network. It's a small network, but it is indeed a network. This is day 84 in year two, making it 449 consecutive. Roblin lives without a miss. Not too shabby. True. Uh, we're going to have a little different uh, format uh, uh, this evening, uh, and here from hence going, uh, hence going forward, or going forward, or whatever you want to call it, we'll no longer be mentioning uh, daily events uh, anymore, and. Uh, I guess everyone uh, the, who does uh, uh, appear on a daily basis won't be mentioning anyone else's, and that's fine. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that the, the world knew that we will be following suit. So there'll be no mention of anyone else's uh, webinars or chats here. So that's that. That being said, let's move along if we may and uh, let you know that we will be back. Uh, tomorrow night, we'll be here every night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so we'll talk about ours a little bit for a moment, and beginning this Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, uh, Roblin Live will be on air, and we'll be on Restream, streaming on our YouTube channel, which is known as Roblin Live, and it the name of our uh, daily live, which is going to appear at noon, is Straight Talk with Roblin Live. Yay. So, Straight Talk. So, what we'll do is we'll give you uh, updates as we hear them uh, during the day up until noon uh, or from during the night up until noon. So, we'll try to keep everybody in the loop the best we can. And we hope to have a nice audience on this daily at noon. We should, and we certainly hope so. Seems like a good time. It's a good time, and it's a good topic. Uh, straight talk with Rob Lynn Live. And that's what you get with us anyway. But uh, we just thought we'd make that the, the headliner. Uh, straight talk with Rob Lynn Live. So, please pray for Ash, if you would please. His lovely wife, Ash Mahan. And they're two brilliant and handsome young men, their boys, as well as the tech, the media, and support teams for their good health and safety. Please pray for them. They all need our prayers. And if we could uh, scroll up a bit or down a bit or sure. some way a bit. Okay. Also, please send out your love, light, and prayers to anyone you may know who's ill or been injured in any sort of an accident, industrial, car accident, truck accident, you know, happenstance accident at home, you name it, for a speedy and complete recovery. <coughs> Tomorrow I will have to get cough drops. And if we may scroll, please, while you're doing that, please. You want to give me the uh, mouse? I can... Do the scroll talk. Okay, we do have announcements, announcements, and more announcements tonight. Uh, they won't be that many, but they're very, very important. Now, with the end of the month of November coming, we're told that within two weeks, uh, everything should be just fine with the uh, being able to pay with either credit card, debit card, or crypto by the end of the month. Things are uh, ramping up on a daily basis, as you know. Also, uh, please take note that the withdrawals, both crypto and uh, cash through the bank or money wire, money transfer, ACH transfer, whatever you want to call it, uh, will resume and will be coming in bulk from what we're told, which means uh, those of us, uh, those of you, and us who requested uh, the bank withdrawals in September or October, while you still could uh, uh, request them, we'll be getting those first, and then any others will come thereafter. 
and there's going to be for now uh, the 15 day period as far as we know it is in effect for future withdrawals but that could change ash has said it could change and that's good stuff also the $25,000 daily limit could change as well I think that likely will change based on the volume we're hearing that's coming our way oh exciting uh, it is exciting indeed and uh, so and uh, it looks like uh, December 1st, maybe the 30th of November, we'll be hearing about the giant ash bomb. Uh, we don't have the specifics on that yet, but we did want to uh, remind everybody that that is in the uh, back office. Uh, and uh, under updates, you will see the uh, recap, recap of uh, what went on, was it yesterday, right? Thursday? Oh, Wednesday on OP360 Part 1 and OP360 Part 2. Uh, part 1 was on O-Connect, and then we switched to, uh, excuse me, Part 1 was on uh, the Top Dot Live, and we switched to an O-Connect with uh, Sir Ash as the host and moderator, which was kind of fun, a lot of fun. And he brought some other folks other than the leadership to the uh, to the platform, and uh, they were able to be on as panelists, which was kind of cool. Also, migration without hesitation, please. Don't hesitate anymore. The apples are flowing. Uh, that means that your wallets are going to fill up, so why not take advantage? Sign the NDA and get your affiliate link. Another way to take advantage of on passive, and that's to share, share, share your link. Check out the on passive website. Uh, the website, I believe, changed on Monday, and uh, it's a beauty. And check it out and uh, send that on to all your friends and neighbors. Uh, anybody that's uh, been interested in the past and maybe was waiting for things to happen, really happen with uh, financial rewards and payments, uh, send it on to them, send it on to any naysayers you have, may have, and I think they'll be overwhelmed with uh, what they see. And that's good stuff. So to also check out the on passive YouTube channel. And man, oh man, can you get some content there. You can get hello to Irena Steksala and Isabel. Hello, Isabel. Pat Green's here as is Dominique uh, Fernandez from Dominique, Dominica, Dominica. And I would say his brother may be along as well. That would be kind of cool if the two duo brothers can be there. We'd love to see them both. Uh, Karina Lance is in the house. Hello to Miss uh, Lance. Glad you're here. Rachel Violet is here. And do we have closed captioning? We don't yet. Oh, if she has Google Chrome, yeah. she has Google Chrome, you can catch, you can catch anything that you, no, no, you can catch uh, the closed captioning if you have Google Chrome, and that's good stuff. All right, log into your alternate emails. Why is this important? Well, let me tell you why. Uh, whether you have a Google, Yahoo, Hotmail, Proton Mail, Microsoft Mail, Mickey Mouse Mail, uh, in between mail, hot mail, cold mail, you know, lukewarm mail, whatever kind of mail you have, and you used as your alternative email in in the OES. Uh, initially, you use it in O Founders, and then over into OES. It's important. It's critical that you don't lose that account, okay? No, and the no. reason being. It's worth more than gold. It's worth its weight in gold and then some more. And the reason we say that is that when the O Verify kicks off, O Verify, where we verify who we are with a picture ID, etc., only takes about a minute to do. When that kicks off, that's where the one-time password will be sent to your alternate email. So hop on it. Uh, we've done about 15 of ours. We've got uh, a number more to do, and we will get that done. 
I'm just saying how many emails we have. I didn't say anything about anything else. Just emails. And I have probably 10 of my own. So there you have it. Uh, sign the uh, NDA and get your affiliate link, as we mentioned. And uh, as we mentioned with the login to the alternate emails in uh, Google, etc., Yahoo, please do it. Okay, that's where the one-time password's going. And if you'll scroll down again, please, I'd appreciate it. All right, get on an Oak Connect as either a host or a second host. And guess who the second host is tonight? Ta-da! <laughs> I got to be, I'm getting to be a host. Uh, I better follow in Lynn's footsteps and figure the host uh, duties out. Might as well. The primary host has all the bells and whistles to send out. The second host has just about everything, right? That's what I was told. All right. But cannot like end the webinar. Only the primary host. Which is probably a good thing that only one person can end the webinar. I guess, yeah. Because uh, it's a good thing. Single sign-on, single control panel <laughs> for ending the webinar. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, you can be a speaker. You can be a co-host as well as a host or an attendee and have some fun. You want to know all about the products, solutions, whatever you want to call it, you are presenting to the public. You want to be able to demonstrate. And what better way to learn than to go to OConnex, host an OConnect yourself. We've both done that, and as you can see, we're doing it again tonight. We have uh, 41 here at the moment, not too shabby. Right, we're 12 minutes in, so uh, call your friends and neighbors. Tell them Rob Lynn Live's on. Come see us, you hear? And Sarananda Das is here. Frank Rowe, first boy as often, is here. And uh, Mohammed Ashraf is here. Hello to you, sir, as well. And if you know of anybody who needs help, lend them a hand. And the reason we say that is helping one helps us all. And that's a good thing. So helping one helps us all. And then finally, oh, there's a couple of finalists. Check out your OES and back office for any updates, either on the ticker in the OES or as a pop-up in OFounders. I could appear in one or both of those locations. All right. Then subscribe to as many products or solutions as you feel comfortable doing. Uh, you don't have to jump on every one right away because there's going to be probably anywhere from two to five coming out at once, coming up after the first of December and before the first of the year. So uh, you want to be ready for that. And uh, being ready means uh, having the funds necessary. Uh, to pay for those. They're not all going to be as costly, let's say, as uh, O-Connect. So there'll be some real affordable ones Definitely. that we'll want to share with our friends and neighbors. And the options in the chat, small, medium, or large, uh, Miss uh, Arena, uh, Arena told us it. about, remind us about, it's absolutely killer. Totally love it myself. Yeah. And there's Sina saying hello to a lot of her friends. You can certainly certainly change the size of the text. You can move the chat around. If you don't want the chat on the right, move it to the left. If you don't want it on the right or on the left, move it to the center. You got power. You got control. So we told you about checking out the OES and the back office. So that's our final announcement. Other than starting Sunday, we'll have a fun day. Seven days a week for sure with Roblin Live Straight Talk. So we'll see all of you there, hopefully, or as many of you who aren't still in church or at the mosque or at a synagogue for some kind of a function. Uh, we hope to see you every day at noon. It's going to rock and roll for sure. All right, let's move along and check out tonight's topic, shall we? Mm -hmm. I think we will. In our continuing medical series, and we've been doing this now, this is our seventh uh, in a row uh, of medical series, with the exception of the round table that we had 
We had the Q&A roundtable, which last night rocked and rolled. We had some stellar questions from the panel. We had some stumpers. We had some ones that everybody knew the answers to. Most everybody knew all the answers, and that's that's great. That's fun. That me it was, and that means you're focused, you're plugged in, and that's all good. Mm -hmm. Learning right. and fun at the same True. time. True. Well, tonight's <clears throat> medical topic is cancer, the C word, the C word we don't like to hear about, that we hear about all too often. And AI. How does AI interact or become a part of the cancer treatment and research programs? Well, I'm glad you asked. And Ollie's, Ollie Boy's question of the night of the evening is as follows. Have either yourself or a family member or friend been faced with the C word? And the C word is, is cancer. cancer. True. We'd like to hear from you in the chat on that. And then, as everyone knows by now, we'll be having the community chat. And in the community chat, uh, we'll uh, add people to the panel and we'll talk about tonight's topic. We'll talk about the weather. Uh, we'll talk about sports, whatever you guys want to talk about. Mm -hmm. So it's a way to continue to unwind with the Roblin Live Network. And we appreciate all of you here. Oh, We're up to look at Irena. Irena says, I lost my two brothers in the oh, last two years due to cancer. Oh, oh. That is a heartbreak, Irena, mm. for sure. Uh, and Isabel says, Ali, I am a breast cancer survivor. That is cool stuff that you're a survivor, Isabel. Oh. And uh, my heart goes out to you, but at the same time, you're strong like bull. And strong Car like Carmela bull. is sharing that, yes, I do have family that have had cancer, she's saying. Yes. Okay, Carmela, thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, all of us know somebody who's been affected. It doesn't matter whether it's a friend, a neighbor, you know, somebody you work with, somebody that you play golf with, play tennis, pickleball, racquetball, whatever it is. Everyone knows somebody, and I. Oh, Frank yeah. Rowe is sharing as well. What did Frank say? I lost. Oh no, that was Irena. He said, "Sorry to hear that, Irena." Right. And oh, Irena man. says, "Thank you, Rob Lynn. And Isabel says, "Thanks, Rob, for you know how we comforted them." I'll uh, briefly uh, share my story on that. Uh, it goes uh, fairly well back to 1996, 97. In 95, my um, mom got uh, uh, esophageal cancer. She was a heavy smoker. Uh, they attributed it to that. I'm uh, not 100% sure, but uh, as it spread, it obviously uh, went in, not obviously, but it went in the lungs, and that was the uh, demise of my mom. And back in those days, they had ads saying smoking is good for your health. I remember that. Right, and they, 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 the world was proponents for smoking. It was, hey, if you want a lucky strike, have a lucky strike. And call for Philip Morris. Oh, really? That was a filtered and a non-filtered weapon there. Wow, so uh, let's see, uh, Lois White said, I lost my mom to cancer at 50, uh, 50, at years, 50 old. years old. And I, I had breast lumps twice, but luckily with surgery, it never spread any further. Oh, good yeah. stuff. Good stuff, Lois. Oh, my goodness. And wait, let me, I'm going to freeze the chat so I can read. I, I saw some other comments. Um, oh, Cena says, Lynn, I'm on my phone Chrome browser with the desktop site mode. And it is so nice that I can zoom in and out of the screen and I can move the chat box. Okay, so on the phone, using Chrome browser with a desktop site mode. Oh, you know, I never tried that, Sina. So wow. then you, it's actually, it's, you feel like you're on a computer, even though you're on your phone. So you get to see more, basically. That's good. And if you turn wow. it sideways, it opens up just, it's just like a computer. Oh, uh -huh. wow. This will be the desktop. So in other words, it looks like you're on a laptop. It doesn't look anything like this. It doesn't look like Oof. this. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So before it does look like that? No, it won't oh. look like that. It'll have more features because wow. it's as if you're on 
your desktop. Your desktop. Okay, yeah. good stuff. That, now, that's interesting. Uh, as a disclaimer here, uh, we hope we're not. And uh, Carmela is saying she lost her best friend wow. this year from that, so and that's I'm sad to hear. hear. That. And uh, from Botswana, we hear. Hi, Olga. Oh, is that Olga? It's three eighteen in the morning. Oh in my Botswana. goodness, Olga! Thank you, thank, thank you, you for, thank you for being here yeah, with thanks, us. Thanks for waking up early or staying up late, whichever is the case. Oh my! I'd say it's getting up early. Uh, I'm sure she I rested. I hope. I hope. I hope. Oh, she's a night owl. Maybe. Now we weren't going to uh, necessarily talk about the C word or cancer, but you know what? In the interest of total transparency and discussing all the topics of the day about medicine, we decided why not. So bear with us. We're not here to make anyone sad. Uh, we're here to remember our friends and family who may have been lost to it or maybe uh, had cancer. Uh, that's what we're here for. And we're here to spread the word about all the advanced technologies involving the use of AI. That's why we're here. And Irene, it's a great topic for sure, Rob Lynn. Do you like the topic? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're, we're trying to be, you know, that group, that chat, that webinar that gives you something for your money. We try to give you value, and we feel talking medicine is giving you value, talking AI, talking on passive, talking what cheers you up, what makes you sad, you name it. That's why we've been able to have so many topics, 449 different topics in over a year. Not too shabby. Let's talk about how AI is being applied in the field of cancer. Now we've talked about how AI is applied with physical therapy, and that was very interesting. They're gonna be very. similar with the cancer, but we'll go into a little more detail okay. here. And we also talked about AI in your diet. Diet, diet, diet now. Uh, see, I went to the store today, just so we have a little more transparency, and bought some more cucumbers. This was after my medical exam, which I came out tippy top healthy. Uh, my doctor, Dr. Jennifer Walker, said, Robert, <laughs> Robert, you've lost 11 more pounds. So I'd already lost 19 when I saw her last, but I lost 11 more. So I'm hovering around the 30 mark. So as she said, oh, that's not too shabby. Yes, and I said, where did you get that phrase? She says, I use it all the time. <laughs> so Dr. Walker uses that. My nurse's name is Jurgen, oh. and uh, Jurgen was very pleased with my blood pressure as well as my blood work. Uh, my A1C is 6.6, .6, which it was 8.3, so my sugar levels come way down yeah. thanks to all the cucumbers and onions and I'd say broccoli, but I'm not eating broccoli. Uh, have had uh, what what the effect has been on my health, and I'm very grateful. <clears throat> I'm grateful to Marty got us on the kick, and we're staying on the kick. So thanks to you, Marty. And hello to Sumbu Kumar Saha, who is in Bangladesh. Good stuff for sure. A lot of people saying hello to Carmela, Miss Schwartz. Here's John Barilla saying, "I was a caregiver for my dear friend." who is diagnosed with stage four, which is usually the final stage of a cancer, and stage four lung cancer, and I, I took a four-year journey with her to the end. That's amazing. What a friend and caregiver you are, Mr. Barilla. I didn't know that about you, but I felt there's something in that heart of yours. I knew there was, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. John Barilla, wow. Very compassionate. And uh, I know, this is Angela Lillay, I'm saying, I know two people that are going through prostate cancer now. Mm. I got tested for that as well, and my uh, uh, something six level is normal, and uh, I was uh, grateful for that. And then I had the exam today of my prostate and no enlargement, so I'm feeling pretty good about health right now. And uh, so we're going to talk some more about cancer. Uh, we're going to talk about early detection, if we may. 
Uh, the AI algorithms are used to analyze medical imaging data. Now, with cancer, uh, pre-cancer, if you haven't had cancer, ladies, uh, it's good to have that mammogram. And for those of you, I think it's over 35 or 40, it's a yearly one. For those of you younger, let's say from 18 to 30, 35, 40, it's every couple of years. But please, don't hesitate on the mammograms. My ex-wife, a former wife, Kay Greenlee Gorman, uh, had uh, breast cancer. She lost both her breasts. Uh, elected uh, in the interest of transparency not to have reconstructive surgery because back then in the 80s and 90s it was not very popular to do that and to go through that. So uh, my hat is off to her and she knows I still care no matter what and uh, she's had other forms of cancer uh, without going into a lot of detail she's had cancer four times and she's still kicking still swinging uh, she's swinging from the hips. There's no doubt about it. So uh, our family is blessed that she's still here. I know our children are, are feeling very good about their mom. So oh, early detection, as we talked about, mammograms, CT scans, CAT scans, and MRIs detect the early signs of cancer. Now, I had uh, melanoma back in, I think, you and I just met, it was 2012, and uh, going into 2013, and I had spots on, well, it's actually my left side, showing right side, but yeah, it's showing left side. So on the left side of my neck, they were removed and everything was fine. But if you feel a lump, if you see a spot, if you see freckles that you didn't have for the last 30 years, hey, Get it checked out, okay? Doesn't matter whether you go to a walk-in clinic, if you don't have insurance, if you do have insurance, go to the uh, your primary care physician, or if you have an oncologist because you've suffered through or worked your way through cancer before, please, please, please do that. Early detection is how we nip this in the bud, okay? Okay, bud? Got that, bud? All right, personalized medicine. Ooh. Ooh, and Cheryl bought some cucumbers and celery and onions. Healthy. She's stepping into the Roblin Live diet. <laughs> Can add a little cheese to that. I sprinkle on Parmesan cheese and load it up with locale dressing. I think one today wasn't locale because <laughs> I couldn't finish it all. And I, ooh. ooh. So, David Rosalski, if you're eating broccoli, I doubt Lynn would be sitting there. I know it gives me, uh, yes, it does. The wind is something but terrible. You don't like broccoli anyway. So, that's perfect. So, no wind coming your way tonight, Lynn? Mm -hmm. Not at all. Okay. All right. Hi, David Switzer. Hello, David. Thank you for being here, brother. I know you're a Kansas City chief guy. That is awesome. Can't hold that against you. Says, that is awesome. We've got uh, Travis Kelsey from the Chiefs is dating the one and only. I almost said Shania Twain, but it's it's not Shania. It's not. It's the other young lady who writes all her own music. Oh, I don't know who that is. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. uh, why is her name slipping? Okay, folks in the chat, put who... Travis Kelsey's girlfriend is the most famous at the moment and richest uh, singer. She writes all her own music uh, and uh, plays guitar and several other instruments and sings up a storm. Okay, Paul, um, you said me, me, me. So I sent you um, on Messenger, but I don't know if that's you. Are you, is your picture like you have black framed glasses and a blue shirt? V-neck shirt. Is that you? Maybe I sent it to the wrong that's one. That's Paul McFarlane. Did you mean to send it to McFarlane? Yeah. That's yeah, it. but I don't know if he, that's the right Oh, one. we had a Paul McFarlane on last night. It was a different one. So I don't know. So can you tell me if you got it in Messenger? If not, message me or uh, email us with the link or we'll just bring you in. I think from... it was the other Paul McFarlane, but that's okay. 
We'll hear okay. from this Paul McFarlane. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll look for you in the attendee list and we'll bring you over to speaker. All right, very good. And let's talk about the personalized medicine N. AI is used to analyze the data sets of what medicines work on what cancers, including genomic information uh, to identify patterns and variations associated with different types of cancer. The information can be used to tailor make treatments. Yeah, now the tailor made uh, treatments that uh, my former wife Kay had were chemo and radiation. Uh, neither is pleasant, but uh, they've come a long way since the 80s and 90s yeah, with that. Higher technology, right? Yeah, and through the use of AI, mm -hmm. I might add. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The information can be used to tailor make the treatments, as I mentioned, and to individual patients. Thus improves the efficacy and minimizing side effects. In other words, it makes it more effective. Good. Long story short. Mm -hmm. Now, treatment optimization. Ooh, doggies. The use of AI with that comes the ability to analyze patient data. Treatment outcomes. In other words, they can follow follow through AI whatever the clinic needs to know, whether it's patient data, treatment outcomes, uh, and clinical trial results. Now, uh, we have a place in the Tampa Bay area uh, known as Moffitt Cancer Center, uh, named after Lee Moffitt, who was a CPA in Tampa, uh, was a cancer survivor, uh, and uh, it, the cancer center was named for him with all the large donations from the Tampa Bay business community. So that's good stuff. And I have a friend, Jeff Byers, since we're talking transparency, Jeff had and is in remission now stomach cancer oh. and it had spread somewhat. Jeff is now putting the weight on again. Jeff, slow down now. <laughs> slow down. You don't want to be 250 again. I think he's about 225, 230, uh, but he had gone down to around 200. So Jeff, we're glad you're better. Keep doing what Moffitt tells you to do. The doctor's at Moffitt and it's Taylor Swift. Thank you very much. And Sadananda says ML, which is machine learning with AI innovative tools can detect Cancer. We were just coming to the detection part. Early, early checkups. In fact, yearly checkups. Uh, it's Taylor good to have them. Taylor Swift, I <laughs> thank you very much for that. Obviously, I'm over the hill. I'm shot. I'm too old. Taylor, Swift's a very, Taylor Swift is a very lovely lady. I think they live in... Um, they may be, well, they may be staying in uh, Kansas City at the moment. Uh, she, uh, he had an off week and, uh, he went to Peru with her, I believe. Now, see, I am tuned in a little bit. Yeah, not me. She did a concert in, uh, Peru, I believe, South America, and, uh, Travis was there. And she went running up into his enormous 22-inch arms. So, at any rate, that's Taylor Swift, and, uh, thank you for that information. And, uh, Paul says, Isabel, that's right, radiation can be helpful. But it is tough. To and go Dominic says, "Yeah, Karina, lads, you're correct. It kills both good and bad cells." That Karina, that is very, very true. Uh, that uh, you know, sometimes uh, early detection is. Most times it's good. Sometimes it's not so good. But in in the uh, overall picture, early detection is good, especially with things like colon cancer, rectal cancer of any kind, uh, prostate cancer, the earlier the better, breast cancer, the earlier the better. And uh, it helps with early detection, in other words, to jump on the treatment program, whatever that might be. And Taylor Swift has a major documentary film about her life and success right now. It has, uh, it's in the box, oh, I guess it's a movie, so to speak. And um, I think Jillian is saying in 10 years' time, it will be mind boggling the progress in healthcare. Thank you, AI. Thank you, machine learning. Yeah, 
buddy. We're up to 65 of you now. Thank you for joining us. We love you and appreciate you. Uh, tonight's topic, if you're a late joiner, is cancer and AI, or the C word and AI. Cancer and AI it is. All right. Uh, so detection, early detection is important there. Drug discovery. Now, there are new and improved cancer treatments every day. Okay. Uh, AI researchers can identify potential drug efficacies. What works on what cancer? Good stuff. And then there's predictive ana analytics. I almost didn't say that <laughs> word. That's a hard word. Predictive analytics. And b by the way, for those of you used to the uh, 30 minutes past the first hour Ollie contest, not to fret, we've got Ollie standing by. So, Predictive ana analytics, the patient outcomes to various treatments can be determined in advance with the use of AI. Former records, uh, current people that are undergoing it at a different stage of treatment, and it helps the healthcare provider, no matter who that might be, whether it be a, an MD, an osteopath, uh, an MD or an osteopath who is a radiologist uh, for uh, cancer, and uh, an oncology radiologist, they're called, or an oncologist who deals with chemotherapy and other medications, all good. All good. It helps them all, the nurse practitioners as well. Now, robotics, we talked about robotics the other night, robotics and AI. We talked about robotics keeps popping up in everything we talk about, it's which big, is pretty cool. It's a big thing now. It is, and we discussed some of the things uh, of robotics, as in uh, my friend Dr. Toe Vestergaden, his uh, mechanical arm that fixes things, or his robot that fixes broken bones and issues with the uh, spine, which is pretty good. David Switzer, my brother, has cancer and lost his tongue. Oh. I did not mention that type of cancer, but that oh. can be horrible. Oh, no. And the treatment for that is no fun either. Not just the surgery, uh, oh, David. So I'm thank you for that. mentioning that. Our prayers are with your brother. Oh, my God. And it looks like Menachem Nir is here tonight. He's our dear friend from Israel and sunny California. So welcome, Menachem Nir. All right. Robotics. Wow. Robotic systems do assist surgeons in performing minimally invasive surgeries. Mm. And that goes for cancer surgeries, too. It used to be, uh, with breast cancer in particular, well, we've got to do a major, a major procedure here. We're going to have to take your whole breast, man. Mm. Now... Uh, with the use of robotics and AI, especially AI, they can zero in, and the uh, the mammograms are even more specific now, exactly where a lump might be with breast cancer. <coughs> and Manahim, uh, Lynn will bring you in uh, just as soon as we've uh, completed our discussion, which is coming up shortly. All right, data integration and analysis. 50 years ago, Unless you were in a doctor's office and, and reading someone's records, you had no integration and analysis of documents. Now, through the use of AI and, anal and analysis through AI, it includes the following. Electronic health records, didn't have those 50 years ago, assuring that these records uh, can help make good decisions based on what level the cancer may be on. So there. Now, if we come on the panel, do we close out of here and come in by the speaker link in mm -hmm. Messenger? Yeah. Is that a correct amundo? Yeah. When okay. You, when you click on it, I think it'll prompt you to leave. So, yeah. But we can always bring you in. But I figured if you have the link, it's good because if you get booted out, then you can come right back in with that link. You won't have to ask. How me. nifty is that? I've learned it to oh, do that. Learned, and with us being on O-Connect as much as we've been, we've learned a lot. Yes. And uh, we've trained ourselves and we've learned from others. It's all 
good. Yeah, so just try it, Jillian. I sent you the link in Messenger already, but um, try that. Just click the link and see what happens. I think All right, Menachem and Carmela and Karina are already oh. up there on the panel. And Sumbu and um, Menachem too. Yes. And Sumbu said, I lost my one friend to cancer. It oh, happens. So it's sorry. a horrible disease, everybody. Wow. Wow, wow. All right, so a there's lot of, Karina a lot on the of panel. Stories too. are very touching. Yes, very moving and touching and mm -hmm. very real. And that's how we do things here at Roblin Live. There's no hocus, there's no pocus. We are real, and the subject matter is always real. Mm -hmm. And our visitors to the panel are very real too, in case you hadn't known. Yes, and, and if we you guys, love having our panel. And if you guys are regulars on our community time. Um, I automatically just send you guys the link so it's in your messenger for most of you anyway so check on it All right. <laughs> check for, for the link so what data integration and analysis does is it assures that the improved proper decisions are made good stuff it takes the practice out of being in the medical practice quote unquote out of the equation and how about patient support? AI is on top of that and monitoring too. You, uh, AI monitors with the application. So you can have an app, app on your phone. You can have an app in your computer. You can have an app on uh, anything but your flip phone so far. But that may be coming too. And any other devices, an iPad, uh, uh, just a regular tablet, you name it. Those applications can be used and devices to give real-time data. And that's how we do it, real-time data. And thus, it alerts healthcare providers. Nice, 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 nice. So before we do the Ollie contest, we want to mention something we mention on a nightly basis or morning basis, depending on where you are. And we're up to 70 people right now. Very good. 70 of you folks. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. And that uh, we want to remember we are one family. We're one team of professionals working tirelessly. Woo -hoo -hoo, doggies, I got it right. One massive movement, and without a doubt, we are one on passive. So that completes the, the remarks. We hope you got a little bit of value out of that, or maybe even a lot of value out of that. Uh, just trying to give words to the wise, and you're all very wise, uh, but take your health seriously. If you're 50 pounds overweight, try to lose 10. Okay, you'll feel better. Your blood pressure will go down, your cholesterol will bounce around and maybe get a little better. So just think about that. All right. And it looks like uh, Rachel is saying good night. We love you right back, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you. And Frank Rue, first boy on a, uh, off an occasion, said, Taylor Swift, how can I not remember Taylor? Beautiful girl. So it's me, me, me time. Uh, no, it isn't. It's actually Ali the Wonder oh, Dog yeah, time. All right, put okay. it up on the and screen. And we have Chris Tizan running our contest tonight. Uh, Mel was scheduled, but she's not feeling well. So everybody send prayers and good thoughts to Melanie Marcano. She's not just not feeling well today. Yeah. So thank you, you do see why you're not handling the contest because you didn't even remember we had. <laughs> you forget too. We I, all forget. time. That's why. That's why we need each other. <laughs> but what doesn't work is when we both forget. But usually one person forgets and the other doesn't, so it kind of works out in the end. Correct? Okay. <laughs> all right. Here Let's we go. Uh, bring up the image of uh, where Ollie Bo Ooh, look how big that is tonight and i believe you all can scroll up wow and down. you can scroll it you can go scroll up and down so you can see the full image like i'm doing right now i believe you can see it's some kind of a soup or something stew or soup don't don't say that because we don't know and you're going to give the answer away if that is true okay so it's some kind of soupy thing and Oh, there's people there. You see people here at the bottom of some kind of, uh, hmm, I don't know. All right, so 
scrutinize that image. November the 16th, which is Thursday. It's 8 p.m. here. It's uh, 9 a.m. in Singapore and in the Philippines. So thanks for being here, all of you. Okay, and we're gonna ring the bell and you can make your guesses, right? And whose bell is that, I might add? This is Bama Bobby's cow bell. Are okay. you ready? All, all right, right make all your right, guesses. Right. Let's see who's gonna make the first guess. Oh, uh, Les Hudson says, I love it here. I love Okanek. I'm glad. It is good stuff, Les. And uh, we, oh, we want to send prayers out to one of our dear friends and regular on the panel, Mr. Harry Brechtschneider. Uh, Harry Fair is having again. some uh, uh, coronary issues or heart issues, whatever you want to call it, blood pressure issues, whatever they might be. We're not asking Harry, but we are sending prayers. So you've got prayers from this Jewish guy here. And uh, this lady over here mm -hmm. and uh, prayers to you and anyone that any of you know, if you know somebody, hey, our prayer warriors are here for you. 68 of you here now. Thank you. And what are you putting in the chat? Oh, come November 19th, Sunday at 12 p.m. It's Straight Talk with Roblin Live. That's right. And Isabel says, today I have sound, so I'm glad for you, Isabel. That's nice to hear. And I just noticed that when we're doing this uh, presentation, we, there's a rectangle with us in it. And um, it's movable. Look at that. You can move it. That or you can move it off the screen if you don't want to look at us. No problem. <laughs> So I assume that you guys can move us as well. The box, the rectangle that surrounds us is movable, right? Uh, the then, answers are coming oh, in. Oh, okay, okay. So Frank Rowe is saying that when you make everything small, I cannot get the sound back. Okay, mm. so I think what he means is uh, when we do presentation or uh, whiteboard. No sound. The sound turns off all right so let's uh, i think that's enough time seeing the so okay so we'll take it go away from this image okay all right so testing one two check so one two one two so one two can you hear us now let us explain so frank will understand yes so when we do a whiteboard or presentation or anything like that for now this version of o connect will uh turn your sound off so you need to turn it back on again so you just turn it back on when we... Um, but if you're in Google Chrome, get this now, if you're in Google Chrome, you'll have captions and you'll know what we're saying. So that's another thought. Okay, so now if you want to come out, come down to our community time, all you have to do is put in the chat, me, 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 and we know to bring... Not, oh, oh, we got to do the contest first. We're not done with the first. contest, <laughs> So you get to do the community Oy time. Vey. I see all the community time folks up there in the panel, so I keep thinking about them. Oh, all right, that's nice. But okay. in the meantime, think about where Ollie is. Okay, so Thank ready you. to guess. I rang the bell already, so you guys can make guesses, okay? Uh, you yeah, you can't turn it back on while it's the thing is going, but after it's done, you go back to us, and then you got to turn the sound on. You should be able, everybody's been able, I was able to do it myself, so you should be able to turn on. And if you can't, maybe try refreshing. Refresh. Mm -hmm. Chris, Hannah was works. not available at the time of the presentation. Okay, ready? Let me see who made the first guess. I don't want to miss. Oh, I got to freeze this. All right. It, um, did anybody? Okay. Whoa, the guesses are way up there. I'm glad I scrolled up. I scrolled back. All right. Oh, so we go to uh, uh, Rainbow Mountain in Peru. By my friend Google, Susina. It's Rainbow Mountain in Peru. Um, and and uh, then, yeah, go ahead, hon. Patricia says. Uh, Pat Green says, looks like sand dunes, but I don't know. <laughs> Who else wants to guess? Who else is guessing? Hmm. Can I mute somebody? Hmm. What really? When do we? Hmm. Talk, people are talking about. The sound prayers for Harry B. Thank you. Okay, here okay. we have from Irenestexala, Cusco, Rainbow Mountain in Peru. Whoa, somebody else just said that. Vinic, Vinic, Kunka. This is my second time. Okay, sorry we missed you the first time around. 
Uh, I'm on an iPad and the mute button is hard to turn off. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Best wishes for all from Sanjit. Frank Rose said, we need sound to hear the bell. So that's why I do this. A visual ring because I know that everybody cannot hear. Um, go further up. Yeah. I didn't see it because I was trying to get the sound on, said Angela. Oh, okay. Um, I hate to go back to the image because everybody's sound will go off, okay? Panel back after the presentation. Yeah. The speaker link didn't work, says Jillian. Yeah. So I gave you a new link, right, Jillian? Did I give you the new one? There's a new link. Let me see if I sent it to you. Let me check real fast. Yeah, you have a, the speaker link that works now. I sent it to you in Messenger. I saw the stew, says Isabel. Me and Irena made our guests first. Okay, well, remember that, that you and Irena made All our right, guests Frank first. All right, Frank and Irena, our first boy and girl, if they got yep. it right, Karu. And it's okay, Lynn, says Angela. Thank you. Congratulations, Frank and Irena, first boy and first girl. All the time, says Sina. Yeah, often... Gina Leva says the sound is excellent. Mm, yeah. That's the way we do things at On Passive and On Connect. Um, and uh, Karina Lance is jumping on the Peru bandwagon. Okay. I have to. I had to freeze the chat, but now I need to open it up again to see if there's anything more. Guess was Okay. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah. Well. Our, our full uh, Rye is here saying, hello, everyone. My on passive family the love you roblin live show love you, you right back thank you thank you thank you for being here we're at uh is that 82 or 62 looks like we dropped 62 62 all right we're coming to the end of the ollie boy contest and we'll just wait for mr chris tiazone who is uh he's either gonna come in or okay. he's gonna or just type it in the chat. Okay. Have him type it in the chat. Yeah, his, or he'll come in as speaker. It's up to him. Okay. Are you ready, Chris? Okay. Virtual background, Ollie Boy contest. In case you are hungry, Ollie, Lynn, and Rob are munching on chairo soup. C H A I R O, chairo soup. All right. I never heard of that, actually. Uh, did he say where we are? No, he's just he he just gave us the what we're eating first. He's just warming us up here. Right. Okay, you want to give us the location, Chris? Unless I missed it, I don't. I think, think you I must missed. have missed it because you went on and talked about something. Else. Oh. Mm, did he give the the location? Did we miss it, you guys? I don't think so. I, don't I think know. he just. I think he just put it up there now. Oh, right. Yeah, nice. Just up there just now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. Christian Tizan says a virtual background Ollie Boy contest. Cusco, C U S C O, Cusco, Peru, renowned for its rich history as a formal, as a former capital of the Inca Empire. Cusco serves as a gateway to Machu Picchu. Nice. And Isabel says, so it was a soup. It was a soup. Dina Levis says, hashtag Robin Live Club, hashtag on passive, hashtag Burj Khalifa, hashtag blessed like crazy. And as far as announcements go, I think it's tomorrow, which is it 1250 Eastern Standard 12, Time? 1250 PM Eastern Standard Time will be a Burj Khalifa show. A light show, a very nice. projection show, and uh, it will be live streamed to the corporate on passive youtube channel good place to watch it mm -hmm. oh i believe another good place here. to watch it momoto says hello can we up. watch it on roblin live too i don't know i'm not sure if they're going to stream i don't think they'll stream to the other channel okay. they, they usually only stream on the corporate channel all right good enough typically good anyway enough. congratulations for guessing right frank rowe irena steck sour rachel violet cena hello cena karina lance uh last girl and everyone else thanks for participating 
at Roblin Live with Ollie. The Wonder Dog. True. And he says, hashtag NTS. And if you've been with us a while, you know it stands for not too shabby. And it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, we have gone through the first hour already. Holy smokes. Oh, the new link is not working either. I think it works because we have like four uh, people on the panel right now and they use that link. So try again. Maybe what you can do is copy and paste the link into the browser. Okay, Jillian, because it's a working link. And uh, Gina Leva, uh, yes, we did mention the 12 p.m. Uh, Roblin Live Straight Talk uh, show uh, will be an additional show. Uh, not in place of 8 p.m. We're not moving times again. We're done with the time switches. But we felt the world needs something at noon, and there's nobody on at noon. And there are updates that may happen in the morning uh, prior to the other guys who come on in the morning uh, or the people that come on in the afternoon. So we want to be uh, alert. We want to be tuned in. and We want to be able to bring the latest information uh, kind of today's news today at noon. That's right. And it's going to be short, anywhere right. from 15 to 30 minutes. That's it. Right. And uh won't be a topic every day, but there may be on some on days Sunday. if there's something very, very important. And it will be uh, an additional, Gene, it's an additional show. So Robbie Boy and Lynn are going to have to prepare for that. Mm -hmm. But we're ready for this Sunday, and it should be fun. That's right. It should and be a lot of fun. Paul McFarland, don't worry. If you're not on Facebook Messenger, I'm going to go grab you right now in the attendees list, and we will bring you to the panel. And Gene, in your travels, if you hear of anybody that uh, was looking for something to do around noon, send them our way if you don't mind. We'd appreciate it. I saw that. All right. And uh, we're in the 60s still somewhere, 66, 67, 68. Okay, we're doing good. And you're ready to see our panelists? Let's see our panelists and let's have some more me, 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 me. Because as soon as we change the view, you're going to see an instant panel because there are a bunch of them there right now. Here we uh, go. Let's see that panel. Yep. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Ta-da! Wow! Yeah, Wait a minute. I like there's that. There's John Barilla. There's Paul. Uh, we got the right Paul tonight. And <laughs> Patricia Green and Karina Lance and Jillian Hannah. Menachem Near. Woohoo! And what Carmella, you, what are you doing with a jacket on? It can't be that cold there, is it? And what do you guys think about this view? This is the I just put a sweater view. on. <laughs> Karina, the view is different. Look at the This panel. is the new view that uh, Ash and company came out with. This is it, man, you guys. Wow. Nobody has this kind of a view. Wow, I it's like massive. It. it takes up the whole screen. Exactly. Yes, it does. So wow. it's crystal clear, and there's Jillian. I <laughs> see so Jillian. Beautiful. Jillian, the link worked for you. Yay. Hey, Jillian. Hi, Jillian. Hello, Patricia. Hi, everybody. Carmella. I knew that, that link was working because everybody Karina. came. Hello. Hi, Pat. Hi, John Hi. Lilla. Hi, Love you, John. You had a rough day, I know. Hi. Thinking about you, brother. Here, yeah, we got hats. Look at this one. I like this oh. one. Oh, is that going to oh. be hat day? Giddy up. Giddy up. Backwards. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Some cowgirls don't know how to put a cowboy. I got one like you, too. Yay! Hey, Patricia, if anybody's watching, you're going to put a hat on or a cap on, go grab one. Tonight can be hat night. Oh, the, you're you you're pulling an Ash Mafar. He must have changed hats eight times. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna spin around right? the room the hat. Okay. show hat. But. And I want to tell you something that I figured out just now. I went to Zoom, so I went to my Chrome, click on the three dots, you guys, and I made I clicked on Zoom under the uh, menu there, and I made it 75 percent. And when I made it 75 percent, I could see everybody in the frames. Now earlier, you guys were being cut off, but now at 75 percent, I see everyone fully. 
So okay. if you haven't tried that, go to your Chrome, three dots on the upper right hand corner, and yeah. the pull down menu, <laughs> the pull down menu will have Zoom. Gorilla and the gorilla. Taste the 75% and see what happens. I think that'll do the trick for you. I love I'm the hat. Carmela's got a hat on. She's got, is, is that a one of those? Don't uh, look at John's hat. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> hey, did are you, you see John Maria? John, what are you with that hat on? <laughs> what the heck is that anyway? Is that an elephant? <laughs> elephant? I thought maybe it was the Why Tin Man it? outfit, but I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not sure. Turn to the side again. Okay, is my, is my mic working? Yes, yeah, it's working. Everybody's mic's working. Yeah, this is a turban, but you notice. I, how can I show it? It has a bizarre kind of phallic symbol. <laughs> and I can't, phallic? I, you, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I know, but here's the thing. It, it was used It was used in one of the shows that I did for theater for young audiences. Aladdin young and his magic lamp. Ah. Ah. Beautiful. <laughs> It looks like an elephant. No, I, didn't, I didn't play this character. Uh, I played like a slave character, but the 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 uh, the sheik or whatever he had this as his headdress, as his turban, and uh, I could never figure out why. And, and you know, pretty bizarre looking thing, right? And uh, so I had to, I stole it when we when the company went under. We we could grab stuff. Now I never wore this, and like my I had a little turban for the slave guy. But this was so funny, I had to steal it when when the company went under. I stole this, you know. So that's what it is. It's a turban. It's a sheep. It looks turban, like know. an elephant on the front. It's it's bizarre. I don't know. I right. I can't explain why. It, why it has this thing on the top here? I'm not sure, but uh, I just thought it was funny looking. Anyway, I put that one on. Uh, anyhow, it so I just thought me. I'd bring that on. I I do feel terrible today. I I thought I'd bring a little humor, even though I feel just awful. And I uh, I have like a thing. I have a sterile uh, gauze thing stuck up my left nostril because it was. Uh, I really smashed myself today. Uh, I'll let you know real quick what happened. Uh, Lynn may know this again. I tell her some stories, uh, but anyway, in the past, sometimes I have a dream that is so vivid, and you feel like you're alive in the dream. It's real. Uh, I, I, it's not just having a dream. You are physically able to participate because you think you're actually in the dream. I've had this happen to me a couple of times in my life, and each time I've had an accident. And the first, the first time was several years ago. I had this horrific dream. It was about, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, Al Qaeda or something. And it was like uh, I was being attacked with a machine gun. And I leapt to try and grab the, the rifle or the weapon. And I fell out of bed. And I injured my, I bruised two ribs and bruised my coccyx that time. However, didn't break anything. And it was fine. I went to urgent care, got checked out. You know, you, they can't do much. You just have to take it easy. And I was fine. That's the first vivid dream I had. Now, here's what happened to me today. I was snoozing on my couch. And I fell asleep. And I was having a dream. And I heard, like, an emergency sound. In other words, I don't know where I was. I don't know what. But you heard, like, a, a, a siren or an emergency sound. Like, get up and go or something. I actually thought it was real, and I literally leapt up from my couch that I'm sitting on right here right now, leapt up from the couch without thinking, without looking, and, and I was I, it woke me up. I'm awake doing this. I think it's a dream. I think it's not a dream. I think it's real. I leap up from my couch, and I start to move. However, I have this little dinner tray that is almost always in front of my couch here, but I didn't realize it was there, of course. So I leapt up from the couch and I started to run towards the door, I guess. I don't know. And I, I toppled over the tray and I crashed <laughs> forward and, and I fell in. I smashed my mouth and my nose directly into the arm of my office chair that's over here up to the left. And I mean, I made a direct impact, full body weight. 
you know, oh my goodness. And I'm telling you, it wasn't pleasant. No it kidding. Was messy. Yeah. So yeah. And it was more than a bloody nose because I somehow uh, uh, injured, you know, like a, a, it's not really a cut, but it was more than just a bloody nose, which was a lot of mess. But anyway, so I, I dealt with all of that. I went to, ur went to urgent care to make sure I was okay. Uh, my mouth is okay. It's just bruised on the top uh, layer uh, of my roof of my mouth. And my, uh, and my nose uh, is swollen. On the, I don't know if you notice too much. It's swollen. It's very sensitive. And mm -hmm. inside my nostrils, that's where the injury actually is. And it's painful. Oh, and I have, this, I have this gauze thing to stop the bleeding and whatever. And, <laughs> and the thing is, I have like allergies. I'm always needing to like blow my nose or something, oh, you know. No. I can't I can't even think about that. Oh, so no. oh, yeah, God. yeah, you know. So I'm yeah. uncomfortable, but I'm trying I'm trying to have a good yeah. humor about it. What can I say? You know, anyway, that's that's my problem for right John, now. I'm it's give you some advice. Don't do that. That hurts. Yeah, John, kind of steer yeah. away from uh, doing a pancake. Yes. Yeah. Been there done that. And let's hear I mean, from what's the, uh, it if wasn't I may, even let's an old man flop, you know. <laughs> wow. Let's go over to Paul. Go Paul, ahead. tell us something good about today. What's going day. on in your world? Oh, man. Today was a tremendous day. We, oh, that's good. Yeah, we we, <laughs> always, we we don't like to lose. We like to win. Winning yes. is the only thing. <laughs> Losing is too expensive. Yes. <laughs> so today was a great day. I rushed home to get on the computer. So I could see you guys. Thank you. Um, it's great to be here. Um, I love to see you all. I love this voice. Uh, what's this gentleman, John? John Buddy. Oh man, I love that voice. That, that's a very distinct voice. You, you should use that voice up. That well, very thank distinct. you very much. I, I sing too, you know. So thank you, thank you for that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I could, I could hear that voice. In mm. another word, we would call that voice anointed. Oh. That's nice. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Uh, my voice is uh, just slightly anointed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say slightly anointed or slightly annoying? Both. <laughs> Both. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, beat, you, beat, you beat me to it. I was going to go there, Karina. You beat me to it. See, that, that's why you have your, your mic unmuted. <laughs> True. Well, anything else, Paul? Did you? We uh, love, we love O Connect. I think that's another. I like to say O Connect is anointed. This thing is going to be great for churches. You could almost touch the people. I mean, I could yeah. almost, I could almost touch you all here. It's, it's like yes. you, like you, like you're right here, and it's, it's, you know, so it's, it's going to be great. You know, the church market. You know, you know, the, in Zoom, the church is a huge part of Zoom. Mm -hmm. they, they, have, they have a department yes. they call um, Zoom evangelism. And and they make up a huge chunk of the revenue. I wish Ash would just get some of these church leaders and fly them all in for a free demo. Yeah. And show that them may be coming. That would not them. shock me. <laughs> no, that's for sure. Show them how much they could save. Yeah, if they've got 10,000 on one of those big evangelist uh, broadcasts, ten to 20,000 people, they're paying eight, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 a month. Oh, yeah. I think it's more than that. <laughs> oh, is it? It could be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They make up a nice part of Zoom's income. Mm -hmm. Real nice part. So we could, we could just get a little piece of that market. Give broom the Zoom the broom. And besides, <laughs> OConnect is United States based. Guess where Zoom is based? Um, uh, where? Take a, wild, take a wild guess. Uh, I don't know. You I know where Zoom is That's based. right, China. The back offices are in China. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm just guessing. Wow. <laughs> Good guess, Pat. That, that explains a lot. <laughs> yep. Oh. Absolutely. So well, you know, Jillian, uh, Jillian, let's hear from you from uh, down under, please. Yeah. Talk to us about <laughs> either the topic or about your favorite hat or whatever you want to talk about. Hi, okay. Um, yeah, I finally made it in. Um, I just copied the um, speaker link, stayed on the OConnect, yes. um, stayed in OConnect, but just put the, pasted the webinar um, speaker link into Chrome browser because I'm on my iPhone. But it didn't work the other way, so it 
it worked by staying in OConnect and then just putting, pasting the OConnect speaker link into the browser. Then it worked. Okay. <laughs> You're sounding oh, yeah. awfully techy this morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know. Well, technology overload, it's it's terrible. Everywhere you go um, and, and you start chatting with people, uh, I think they know that you're going to start talking about technology. So um, you have to try and start thinking of, you have to start thinking of different things to talk about. <laughs> but it is mind-blowing. I mean, like today's subject um, about about um, medical conditions, um, yeah, I think AI and ML with the health within the healthcare field, it's just the most incredible advancement and progress to date. And um, yeah, you have to believe that AI imaging and maybe med beds and robotics in surgery, yeah. it's just really mind blowing. Mm -hmm. And in 10 years, you can't imagine the medical breakthroughs we will witness and accomplish. So I'm- In years, I'm try two years. Really <laughs> two years your world is going to look a whole lot different <laughs> yeah. and imagine in 10 years you just can't imagine what it, what the world's going to look like everything everything's going so fast everything's going so fast and i think i think once it all takes off um not just not just the future of the internet with on passive but all the other technologies that are being created now, I think, I think, I think they're all there, and it's just going to take off, and everything's going to happen so quickly. It's it's just going to be incredible. There's over six thousand patents, uh, Jillian, that was stolen from us. That's going to be released here right away. Okay, over six thousand patents. We're talking the med beds. <laughs> that's very old technology. Okay, extremely old technology. But to Earthlings, it's like, woo, wow, it's it's yeah it's yeah. old technology it's not of this earth so it, it's no, over six no. patents. we're gonna see it right away two years your world's gonna look a whole lot different just remember i said that <laughs> i know i've been, I've been watching this on youtube <laughs> following a few emails and um it seems that this advanced um technology using high frequencies and yeah, it's that's what i'm talking um, about yeah, no, yeah. you can quite you see this see. right here that I got. I'm going to show you something. You see this right here? This is part of it. Okay. This is part of the med beds. This, this device right here, it costs yeah. me, I'm not even going to tell you, but anyway, this device right here, works the same way as the bed beds. Okay. It's already here. Canada's next. Hmm. Germany is done. Canada's next. This frequency, this works on frequency. This heals me as I'm sitting here. Anybody around me, it'll heal you too. This is, what is a quantum it? healing system What's... right here. And this is part of the healing beds. It's going to be available to the general public before Christmas. It's actually being used as we speak, Jillian. Mm. That's, yeah, how, that's how close we are. <laughs> it's not 10 years. It's two years. Your whole world is going to look a whole lot. There's going to be no cancer, no dementia, no autism, no nothing, period. And that's before Christmas time. So Can you do something for my happy. arthritis, please? It's arthritis. gone. I'm telling you. It'll my be arthritis gone. is gone? Everything or it will be? gone, Rob. Yes, mark my words. That's how it I works. want something for my back. Oh, well, frequency, honey. Right here. I you'll, see, you're, you'll see. Mark my words, guys. You'll see. It's coming. All right. Normally, Menachem, I'd come to you in order there, but uh, let's say, if we may, can we do ladies first from Israel and talk to Carmela, if you don't mind? Hey, Carmela. Carmela, unmute. Go ahead, Carmela. Go ahead, hat lady. <laughs> Go ahead. We can hear you. You need to mute me. Okay, there you now, go. now I'm mute. <laughs> okay. I uh, wanted to to make a because the topic is a, you you speak about is a it's a hard topic, and each one of us have someone uh, uh, that is close to him that uh, had that uh, sickness. I put a hat on my head to make you smile. Because it's a sad topic. And uh, 
Well, you look I what you started. Say, but... My grandmother and my grandfather, they both died from cancer. Me too. My father had the cancer and he get out of it. He died from Alzheimer. Yep. And uh, uh, this year I lost two friends of mine, big, big ones that had cancer. Yeah. All of our, we, this, uh, this uh, sickness mm -hmm. catch a lot of people. And most of the the food we eat, the air we breathe, the water we drink, yes. it's yes. poisons. Yes. And we have also the poison of yes. our of our of our soul, which is the most poison. So uh, uh, we are stressed very much in life, which is also poison. So we have to try to avoid poison in any ways to to grow and to take new nutri nutri things and uh, to 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 be a check as a as Rob said if you have a little spot go and check it because melanoma melanoma can comes and uh, from the sun and uh, we have a lot of. Um, uh, Many machines around us which bring a radiation, which is very uh, dangerous for cancer. And we have to be careful and to to be uh, aware of what we're doing and what we're eating and what we drink and where and how we behave and what we do. This is right. my suggestion for the cancers. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, appreciate that. Nice hat, by the way. And I switched hats uh, in deference to you and Karina. I, I didn't want to be outdone, so <laughs> I switched hats. Uh, let's go over to Menahem from uh, California, sunny California. What say you, brother? <laughs> well, I, I wore two hats, Israeli hat and, 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 and from the, for the valley, California hat. <laughs> But uh, as usual today, in the on, in the company on the site of the company, you can see the blog about the KYC. Know your client, know your customer, and uh, my wish is that uh, we launch the O Verify. Mm. I, I hope next month. I, I I wait for two things: one, the all verify launching, and second, the online translation for the all connect. When it's ready, it's bonanza. It's boom. Right. And that's I think that is the 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 different. This is the 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 pushing of the application, the online. Uh, Translation, and if you want, I can upload the the video that I did today for the KYC according to the blog. If you want, all right. To upload this. Oh. Uh, I think it has copyrighted music at the end. So, okay. But let's all do it in a, we can all do it ourselves. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Is that on your channel, right? Yes. So I I, uh, I put in the note, in the message, uh, the link. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll go right there after, uh, you know, before I uh, hit the sack. I've got some emails to answer. But I'm going to be here for at least another half hour. So, and then I'll go, I'll watch it for sure. That sounds good. Thank you, Menachem. Pat Green, what's up? I Talk heard, to us. I heard loud clicking noises. Is somebody clicking on their mouse or on the keyboard? A click, click, click sound. Just remember to mute if you can, please, if you're not actively speaking. Okay, who's next? Did Pat you? Green. All right, Pat. I remember, um, and this was a long time ago, um, probably about 30 years ago, 
uh, the part of the family that took me in when I was a teenager and gave me a home. And I spent my last year of high school on and off with them. And, and just they just took care of me like I was part of the family, took me in that way. And um, I got a call late one night and said that he was sick. And if I wanted to see him alive, I needed to go now. So I ended up going to California and he was in a hospital there. He They were in Saudi Arabia when he got sick and um, he had cancer of the throat. And I remember uh, the company, I thought it was really neat what they did. They knew he was dying, but they went ahead and renewed his contract so he would be taken care of, so he would have insurance and all that. They, he was a pilot for uh, the uh, for the people over there that he would help, you know, transport people, fly people back and forth and everything. And um, and I remember uh, going to see him, and you know, his one request was, "I just don't want you to cry in front of me." He knew he was dying, and I remember him saying one day that. Um, when I was over there by his bedside, he said, and he was worried about them giving him the drugs, the heavy drugs, you know, about being addicted to him. And he said, you know, um, I'm not going to leave here. So I don't know why I'm worried about this, you know, uh, about being addicted to these drugs because they were some heavy duty drugs. And I really miss him and I've missed him for a long, long time. But I am looking forward to seeing him in heaven and enjoying our time together there. I know they're there. So um, that's a good thing about it was, you know, um, I was really blessed as a teenager for them to take me in. Um, my dad got married again and decided he wanted to start his life over again and told me and my brother we had to find another place to live. And I was 16 and my brother was 13. And so they took us in, you know, and I, I, I'm really blessed by him. So I miss both of them and the whole family. And they just treated me like one of their kids. And if I did something and I messed up and I did something I shouldn't have done, I got, I got grounded just like the rest of them. <laughs> so got it. anyway, they well, were thanks real for, No, thanks for sharing that. That's good to hear family stories and, uh you know, it, it's yeah. part of the healing process is talking about it, I think. So. I agree, Patricia. You will see him again because it was we're spirit. We don't die, right? Right. I'm there's no time over it. there. So it's like you are not even gone. It's just us here with the time that seems like forever. But over there, it's like you didn't go anywhere. So it's kind of right. it's kind of nice. Yeah. It's exciting. It is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, Menahem, if I may. Forward. <laughs> Uh, Menahem, the uh, YouTube uh, video, uh, Lynn put it up in the uh, left side there. So the link is right there in front of everybody. So that'll make it real easy. Just click on it. That's a call to action, if I might say. We're, we're keeping it up for 15 minutes. We'll keep it up for 15 minutes. The nice thing is there's a timer. You can set it for five minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, Lynn set it for 15 minutes. So it'll be up there for everybody to see. Uh, back to you, Paul. Uh, I want to hear more about your thinking on this church thing, because I think that's a lot bigger than we really think. Oh, absolutely. I think that um, in my research, I saw where the churches make up about 6% of Zoom's income. So oh. it's not available. You can, you can do the math. Zoom generates about a billion dollars per quarter. So just do the math and you see, you see what, 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 what impact they're having. And, um, um, you know, I, I I don't see. I'm telling you, this this OConnect interface is anointed. That's just just the way it is. It has a fresh look about it. Like I said, you can almost touch the people, and that's a big part of how churches operate. You know, they like to touch. Um, physical yeah. touching is very important for churches, yeah. and um, it's 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 just very very welcome in here. I could, I mean, I could, I could stay here for all night. Just another part of Ash's uplifting humanity, you know, giving us the tools to do things to help our brothers and sisters around the globe. And O-Connect is one of them. 
uh, O'Mail and O'Trim and, and O'Net. O'Net, if, if anybody has looked at O'Net lately, there's a lot you can do in O'Net, not just clubs, not just blogs, not just communicating with your you know, fellow uh, unpassivians. And it's going to be nice to bring in the world to O'Net. And by the way, it's free. So, uh, it's, you know, it's, we're one of the few, I believe, platforms that offers anything free. Uh, Zoom, I think, has some kind of free Mickey Mouse thing. Uh, it's not for very long. But uh, uh, O'Net, it's going to blow Facebook and all those platforms, Twitter, probably off the map at some point. When, when the world knows about O'Net and O'Trim and O'Tracker and Oh My Goodness, uh, sky's the limit. I mean, you talk about a new top, it could be a new top every day of the week. And, and the uh, nice thing about it, too, is, Paul, with O'Connect, a lot of small churches can't afford Zoom, but now with O-Connect, they're going to be able to afford it so they can share their, you know, share their services and everything else. And that is so exciting, you know? Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Plus, plus the, you know, the Ashes, um, Ashes theme about giving, you know, I mean, churches know all about that. That's just your bottom line. Give and receive is, is what. It's fundamental to, to be now in a church organization. So, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Ash, as a giver, you know, the message just fits right in with the churches. I'm telling you, it's, it's just a win-win. It's just a match made in heaven. It really is. Great stuff. You know, just, just to go back to your the original topic, um, so, you know, about cancer, there's, there's good news and there's bad news. And throw the bad news out first. I, I follow the data because I'm a science junkie. And um, there's been, there's, the, the truth of the matter is there's an explosion of cancers the past couple of years. Very distressing explosion of all cancers of all kinds. And um, it, if you know where to go to see the data, it's very disturbing. It's extremely, and these cancers seem to be so aggressive. It's, it's they're calling them turbo cancers. And, and it's been, it's been happening in the past couple of years. I mean, I've never known so many. My, me personally, I've never known so many persons with cancer as that I know now, or I've passed away from cancer within the past couple of years. It's really, it's very disturbing. But the good news is, the good news. There's good news. Uh, you know, that there's things. There's there's technologies, including AI. You know, many of you know Mayor Giuliani former mayor of New York, you know, he had prostate cancer 23 years ago. He's still alive. He was treated right here in New York by a doctor that is on late night radio and he, he's not bashful about his, his prowess. He says he gets, he has an 80% success rate. Wow. <laughs> and he's been treating cancers for, I don't know, 20, 30 years, um, private doctor. And um, so, so there's help if you know where to, where to go to find help. And, and there's some, there's some, there's some products now that no one has researched, but there's some doctors are making some stunning claims about one product you, which you can buy off Amazon. I, I was shocked it was still on Amazon. And they're making stunning claims about it and, and asking why, no, why is no one studying it? Because it looks like a potential cancer benefit. Um, you can buy it off Amazon right now, but no one has, it hasn't gone through any research trials that most medicines do. And the reason, of course, is no, you know, there's no way, no way to patent it. So it's, you know, but, but so there's, there's help if you know where to look and a lot of information um, that, that, that can help um, folks. And you just need to reach out and ask questions and, and dig in, dig, keep digging for info. It would not surprise me, Paul and everyone else. And I've been thinking about this a lot lately to where on passive comes out with an application that is like having a family doctor at your fingertips. I wouldn't be surprised in the least if that's coming, not just devices to help people medically. I think there's going to be an app of some kind. Maybe it's going to be through O connect or through o Academy where people will be well read when it comes to uh, their health and what a way to help humanity. What a way to help in a big way 
in a big way. So I think we've seen the tip. We haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg, actually. You know, we're uh, we're just seeing uh, a tidbit. Let's call it that. We just have you know the three products plus the three free plus O Connect. When 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 they let loose of one, two, three, four product in a row at the same time, look out. Because as Ash has said, and he said this very often and so well, everyone in the on the planet is going to need something in on passive. I think that's true. I don't care whether it's O Connect, O Academy, O Net, O Trim, O Mail, whatever. Some everyone on the planet is going to need, and it could be a physical device. This portable concentrator that is being developed. Uh, and and uh, I didn't get a chance to talk to who's the fellow that uh, is in the respiratory therapy. Key Wendell. Key Wendell. That's somebody I'd like to talk to about a portable ox. Excuse me. I call it an oxygenator. It's actually a concentrator. It fits in a shirt pocket. So instead of carrying around a tank of oxygen that or wearing one around your shoulder, you know, or pulling one or being tied to one at home, concentrator. And that w it would not shock me if that's coming real soon. Mm -hmm. And that is huge. That is huge. My, my former wife, Kay, she'll be the first one to get one of those. She's a... Uh, she needs it. Yeah. She, she has to carry around a, an oxygen tank. She doesn't carry it. She wheels it because she needs so much oxygen at one time. Yeah. She had lung cancer and lost thing. one lung. Yeah. <laughs> so I think a lot of good things are going to come. A lot of good things are already here. Wouldn't you say there, Mr. Barilla? <laughs> Takes a while. It's coming. <laughs> All right. There. You know, I got the... The old slow Mac, not that Mac is slow, but my Mac is slow. And uh, even unmute my mic takes about 10, 15 seconds. So anyway, uh, yes, certainly there are a lot of things that are here uh, uh, already, I think, in, in, even in the medical profession, as far as AI is uh, influencing. That's for sure. Treatments and, uh, you know, uh, other things. And I'm sure that it's constantly improved uh, now. Like I say, I was a caregiver for a dear friend of mine, and I don't know how much uh, AI was involved then. This was being like the early 2000, I don't know, about 2010 we started, and uh, about 2012 we were going through uh, various treatments. And if, if anything, I would imagine that maybe AI had something to do with, whoop. Uh-oh. You're right there. He's still there. We hear you. Okay, I'm still there. I just lost everybody uh, for a few seconds there, as long as you can hear me. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I think maybe AI might have had something to do with, uh, uh, you know, situations in the treatment that she went through over the period of time that I was with her. And uh, But I don't know that there was any anything functional, you know, machine-wise or anything that they could do. Uh, so, but but I'm sure that it, by this time now, and as we go forward, of course, it's, it's just going to be so many things from diagnosis to uh, treatment that AI has a lot to do with that to send people in the right direction to get cured or whatever's going to happen. You know, so that's for sure. All right, let's, uh, Jillian, let's come back to you. Let's hear from you again, please. Uh, unmute or Lynn might be able to help you. Let's see. She might have said. You got to You got to unmute yourself. I can't unmute you. You have to do it. Maybe there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, you can. Oh, yay. Um, <laughs> well, you know how everyone was, this is getting off the subject a little bit, but you know how everyone was talking about fun facts about their country? Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear fun facts about Australia, or is that getting off the topic? That's fine. Because I can't think. Do you want me to? We are. Oh, because I, wrote... I wrote down a few fun facts about Australia, that's all. Oh, sure. Sure, we want to hear all about it. 
Okay. Um, well, a few fun facts about Australia. It's a beautiful country, the world's sixth largest country. It's vast. The landscape is arid, dominated by the outback. It's ever-changing, contrasting, especially in the northern states and southern. Um, Australia is the only country in the world that is also a continent and an island. Tasmania, which is um, the state at the bottom of Australia, that has the cleanest air in the world. Australia is split into eight states. Um, the Great Barrier Reef is the largest reef system ecosystem in the world. Kangaroos only exist in Australia. Australia is home to over 60 different species of kangaroos. There are fabulous big cities, diverse cultures, metropolitan, beautiful gardens, beaches, extensive landscapes, lush landscapes. Um, lush, there's a lot of lush landscapes in the tropical northern states. And mostly the people are pretty friendly. I, of uh, uh, course, people were putting, people were talking about fun facts about their country. So I wrote down some. Um, so I, I just thought to say those. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, nice. 2023, and we are free as a bird when it comes to topics. So we're glad you. Uh, <laughs> Brought Thanks that so up. And thank you. Right. It's apart from technology. You know what? Could I jump? Could I just uh, jump in there a little bit about Australia? I happen to have a dear friend who is my photography mentor, and uh, his name is Andy Alford. He lives in Australia, and it is a beautiful country uh, on the yeah. whole. He lives in the southernmost part uh, of Australia, which is you know a lot of remote areas and everything. And uh, and it's unbelievable the the photography. He's a brilliant photographer anyway. Mm -hmm. And oh my goodness, the photo the photographs that he sends me, I post them uh, always on my Facebook page. Uh, it's just unbelievable. It's just such such a beautiful country. Uh, I, I just thought I'd bring that up because it really is. It's just an incredibly beautiful country. Yeah, Tasmania is so picturesque. I mean, it's breathtaking scenery. Then so, uh, the east coast of Australia is too. I've tra I've travelled all up the east coast of Australia, and um, stopped at um, stopped at most places, going all the way up to Cape York, and some of the islands in the Great Barrier Reef. Um, I think the only states that I haven't been to are uh, the only state that I haven't been to is Western Australia, but. Um, when we were younger, we, um, my mum and dad really enjoyed caravanning. So we, we did caravanning around most of Australia, um, mostly Adelaide and Victoria, Queensland, um, and, and just, just to experience it um, and to see the to see the outback and to be in it and to then then you then you um um go from one landscape to another landscape it, they they were great memories of mine um when i was younger and yeah australia really is the countryside it's just so picturesque it's really lovely Thank you. Carmela. Carmela, I didn't see your hand raised, but I know you're chafing at the bit to say something. Unmute. Unmute. You're unmuted. Go ahead, Carmela. Okay. I want to say that uh, I like the I'm you you see I'm playing all the time with myself. I like the O connect. It's so clear. I see myself so good. I never saw myself so good in Zoom. Never. I we can't compare it. This O connect, the last version, 
it's something incredible. I really, nice. really enjoy every moment here. And uh, I want to say that uh, I'm looking forward to the next stop. As uh, Ash always said, we are going to see a lot of uh, changing, changing a, a life pe persons because of um, passive. I, he always said we give value. This O Connect is a real value. And I love it. That's it. That's it. Now. All right. Thank you very much, madam. Uh, just want to remind everybody as we approach the, oh my goodness, can't be right. Oh. Oh, we're on the uh, western side of 10 o'clock, which is not too shabby. Uh, what I want to mention again is the tomorrow at 1250 Eastern Standard Time, we're told, there will be a light show, laser light display on the Burj Khalifa. <laughs> Uh, main sponsor being, I would say, if it's not Amar, which is the people that own the building there, it's certainly got to be on passive. And if I didn't say so yet, uh, there may be, we don't know for sure, none of the leaders seem to know, there may be a, a webinar tomorrow, whether it'll be, a, I wouldn't think it'll be corporate, it may just be another informational webinar. And that might just follow uh the 1250 showing at the uh, burge we don't know for sure uh if we find out anything we'll uh, certainly put it out there for everybody to know about uh during the day uh you know through one of the chats so we'll try to keep everybody abreast of that um anita oh, anita just to... called me so i know she's listening to the show so the link anita is in messenger Look for my name, Lin Mie Nakamoto. That's the message I sent you, and the link is right oh, wow. there. Okay, Anita, you didn't look you know at what? your you didn't look at your messenger yet, so I know you don't have the link. So look you at the what? link. Yes, John. I was supposed to give her the link, and I forgot. I told her yesterday that I would give her the link and messenger because she contacted me a messenger, and I don't think she knows exactly where she is sometimes. In yeah, the, yeah. The, she gets yeah. confused. But I, yeah. I just, she called me while we were on air, so I said, "Look yeah. at messengers. Maybe you can send her. Maybe she'll yeah. understand more if you send it." Let me send it to her right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Don. We want her to be here. Oh. All right, all right, Pat. No, no dozing there. Let's hear from you again, please. And hello to Kushbu. I see Kushbu and Sharon Ku just joined us, and she reached it. Hello to you all. You know, I really um, have to agree with some of the panelists that said that I think in a in a few years we're not going to be able. You know, we're going to look back at we're at cancer and all right. that, and we're going to realize it was such a terrible thing. Kind of like uh, smallpox and different things that you know in the past that have come up, and uh, they found cures for them. And I'm really excited that in the future and i don't think it's going to be that far away there's going to be cures for cancer there's going to be cures for dementia there's going to be cures for a lot of diseases that people you know have suffered through through the years and i'm really excited about that all Me right too. yeah i i just think um you know, I personally, I've had ailments. Lynn hasn't had any ailments really to speak of, but I've been through the mill from a uh, major accident to major illness, and <clears throat> I'm feeling good about the future. I mean, my doctor today said I got the heart of a 30-year-old, and since I changed my diet, all my numbers got within range, blew out the range. In other words, instead of being at the high end, I'm at the middle end or the low end. Nice. Uh, the only issue I've got is potassium, and I have the supplement, but it do, the supplement doesn't seem to help me. So uh, my doctor today suggests a banana a day. That's all you got to eat, and it will keep your level right around 3.9 or 4. So uh, a lot of carbs there, but, hey, bananas are good. Uh, uh -huh. Also, a, a six-ounce glass of orange juice gives uh, quite a bit of potassium. So I'm... I'm getting there. So tomorrow I will go out and get those couple of things that I haven't, we haven't been keeping in the home. 
and we'll just go from there. I do, did want to reiterate what Ash said about December 1st. Uh, that's likely when the A-bomb is going to explode sometime around the 1st, which is exciting stuff. What the A-bomb is, nobody seems to know but Ash. He knows, Mr. Kamal probably knows, and Mr. Nizal. Also, uh, uh, hold off on making any credit card payments because uh, right now they're still trying to get it uh, perfected. Uh, no one's getting left behind, as we've said time and time again, and Ash reiterates. Uh, uh, the crypto payments you can make uh, if you feel comfortable with crypto. But bear in mind, if you are off by one number with your crypto, uh, that those funds are going elsewhere. So it's important to have a good uh, intermediary. Uh, we recommend, uh, you know, someone like Kraken. Uh, Kraken is the number one uh, third-party source for processing uh, crypto, and I think it's recommended by uh, by Ash as well. But hey, we're not here to you know say that crypto is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I will say it makes me nervous because I've made a mistake on sending crypto to one of my kids. He said, "My my son." Um, Oh, no, it was my daughter, Ellie. She said, Dad, you want to send me 100? I've got this new crypto thing. So she sends me the wallet, and she didn't type. When she put the wallet in, it was off by one number. So that $100 went to outer space or to somebody uh, with that wallet number. So that I became a little, little nervous about it. But uh, I've got Kraken. Uh, Lynn, Lynn has Kraken. We both have it. Uh, and we both could do crypto now, but I, I, I want to wait and see how this credit card thing goes. Because being from the United States, uh, I'm a little more used to being able to use a debit or a credit card rather than a digital currency. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, the commissions. Let's get back to the commissions a little bit. Uh, Ash did say that they're going to be coming in bulk. Uh, he did say, he did use the word in within two weeks, and that would be right around the first as well. So uh, cross your fingers, uh, and uh, hopefully that'll be the case because there's a lot of folks out there who did request a with a with a a withdrawal uh, with uh, crypto. Excuse me, with um, with their uh, bank accounts, and we're one of them. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, I'd say the end of this month is going to be as explosive as Ash has said. What it is, we don't know, but it's got to be something. It's big. something significant. It's something big, and we're all looking forward to it. And and thank you, everybody, for having faith and confidence in Mr. Mufara because he wants the best for us. We know that through and through. He's been through the mill for many years, right? Trying to build this company to where it's at today. So just have peace in your heart, you know, just feel, give him your confidence. I think he appreciates that. If you will, we will just believe in him and know <clears throat> that everything's going to be okay. Because really many of us agree that this company is divinely inspired and led. So I think we'll all be in good shape. Just hang in there, as we say, hang in there. Good times are coming. I want to be anointed with a large glass of uh, wine when all this stuff happens around December 1st. I don't care if I got to wear it. I'll wear it. You can splash me with a, a good red vino and I'll be good to go. Because he's not a drinker. He doesn't even drink. So no, I, I spill more than I drink. So <laughs> uh, I'm not the I'm not the guy. If you want to review on something. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, oh, Anita, we want to say that we love you and we know that you tried to come in and we're here every day so you can come in another day, okay? So don't feel too sad. We'll see you really, really soon. And John and I will help you so that you can make it here because you're important. Yeah, yeah, we love you, Anita. Thanks. Okay? So thank you to everyone in the chat. We had a nice, lively chat. Very positive, good vibes. Um, I, I love it. It's the, the vibes in that group is in the chat is always good. It's always good. We have the best people. So thank you so much. 
Uh, Kushbuagawa from last night is here and says, we are blessed to be part of On Passage. Indeed, Kushbu, indeed. Kushbu got up early. Oh, my gosh. She's here with us today. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. And we had, we had uh, Sharon Koo who popped in, so we want to say hi to Sharon as well. And anybody else who came in toward the end, we may have missed you. My sister right there. The next one down. Sharon. Sharon. Who says my sister lives in Australia, uh, Adelaide, in Adelaide. I have been there several times, just that Australia is very quiet after 5 p.m. What do they roll the streets up, Jillian, after 5? And no nightlife where she was and the food was expensive. <laughs> Can you verify that, Jillian? I, I wanted to see, uh, oh, Anthony Henderson is here. Hi. He's saying hi to us. Then. Oh, hi. Anthony, we're glad you're here, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I was hoping we would get like 10 people total because I wanted to see the panels change, the dynamic panels that we're viewing right now with an additional person. One of us would be enlarged and the other nine would be smaller. I wanted to see, but we didn't get 10. We got nine today. Shucks. Yeah. I was so curious to see how it would be. Well, we'll be back again tomorrow night. I love oh, you guys. Oh. I got to go. It just changed again. Wait, it did? Yep. It it did. Went to, I like this one. Wow. Oh, look I at really, that. I what really is that? Like Mogan it. David? <laughs> <laughs> what kind I'm of gonna go pick my friend up. Thanks for having me, guys. Have a good night and all. Okay. Thanks. I Bye. like that one you just had. There was an awesome one. I know. All right. That was so yep. different. It was good. Yeah, it was like a perfect little square. <laughs> Thank you, Karina. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, yeah. Karina. Bye. Okay, so now she, when she leaves, bye bye. Okay, we got eight, eight, and it's now square instead of rectangles. And you see, isn't that amazing? It is. The, the view changes automatically when the numbers change. That's incredible stuff. When there's ten, it puts somebody big on the left side, I believe, and then the others are a little bit smaller than you see now. That, that's that's technology, friends. I love it. It's so special. <laughs> well, all right. Are we ready to call it a wrap? I think so. Thank okay. you all for being here and spending quality time with us. You know, each and every one of you counts, and we love each and every one of you. Now, are you going to uh, take a screenshot? Oh, I almost forgot. Okay. Fired. It yeah, you know what I want to. Uh, what I hope and dream for one day. We, I don't know if it's possible, but if we could switch people around, like if, like for example, Rob is there because he's on his secondary device, which I can actually turn off. I think. Let me. I'd turn. say it's time you turn me off. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I dropped you out. So now you see that's what I wanted. Wow, to see. here is the big screen. Here we are in the big screen. Anytime there's an odd number, right? This is what happens. Or is it for odd numbers? I think so. For it's got to be for odd numbers because we have an odd number. But for even, it's all totally the same size. That's pretty nifty right, right? there. Once you have an uneven number, then you who are in the, the webinar becomes in that panel on the left. Am I right? Right, Pat Green, you're in the left panel. Yes. Mana, and you seem to be in the left panel, right? So ourselves will appear in the... Look, uh, the left panel isn't that cool? It is amazing. Okay, so we're gonna you take techie. You, I uh, it's a mathematical equation. The, the programmers no, probably had fun trying to know. develop that. All right, Car Carmela's drinking red wine, which I guess is healthy. And I guess Menahem's got his water there. <laughs> come this way, honey. Come, come this way. Yeah, right, so we both fit. All right. All right. Ready? One, two, three. You want to make an action shot, like motions with your hand? You feel free to do that. One, two, three. Come for a minute. Okay. All right. That's it. Hold on one second. Let me check it. Oh, no, no, no. I took two in a row, so <laughs> it, it didn't work out. Can we try again, please? Sorry. One more. Okay. Yes. I think twice. Okay. One more time. Yes. Honey, you gotta be same plane as me. Yeah, same plane. Come forward. Same as me. Okay. Little bit to the there. There. Okay. Wait. I see. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? What? <laughs> oh, you're getting ready to.
two, wait till funny cat. One, two, three. Okay, I love it. That's a good one. Ollie just drifted in and brought a little gas with him. That's How nice. Our doggy brought gas with him. Yeah, no, but I keep looking down because my kitty is in the area where you put your legs and when yeah. you sit at your desk and he's laying down here and he's he's big and he takes up a lot of room and I don't want to step on him. You know? So I keep looking down and watching him. Precious kitty, precious kitty. All right, so what I want to say now is we're going to end the webinar. But anybody who wants to stay, wait, I got to mute you, Camilla, your echo. Just for a short time, Camilla. Okay, so what I wanted to say is uh, we're going to go off air. And if you want to stay and chat for a bit off air, you're welcome to. If you want to leave, that's fine as well. Love to everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, Burj Khalifa at 1250, about 1250 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be the live projection, uh, live streaming from the corporate YouTube channel. So be there. And we're not sure if there's going to be a webinar after the uh, projection, the light projection. But let's see. We'll play it by ear. Love, everybody. Love to people in the chat. Diona and all of you. Bye. Hi. Hi, Lynn. Bye. Bye, Paul. It's nice having you. Great. Thank you.